Hello everybody, my name is John Conlon. I have been involved in the arts and culture in Cavan for the past 40 to 50 years. I've really enjoyed every minute of every day that passed. People in the art world are outside the box slightly. They have a different outlook on life. It makes your life more interesting. It makes your life more open. Art is good for the mind. It obviously, you're looking at life outside the box. It makes you feel something is different. And I wish everybody would take more of an interest in art, you'd get more out of life. Many thanks to Tom, Laurie and Paddy Meskell for their work in turning plastic meat cartons into light lanterns. And I hope that you are going to enjoy these videos. This is the last video of the series. Send your photos in of any project you intend doing and I hope this will light up your lives. Thank you, stay safe and goodbye. Hello everybody, welcome to the last lan lantern making video for Cavan County Council Arts Office. Um, I've really enjoyed the last uh, project and doing all those different lanterns with different materials, found materials. It's been, it's been really challenging and it's been great to see what you can do just from what's inside your house. So I hope you've all had a chance to try the different techniques. So today we're going to be using this in every house I would imagine in Ireland, uh, the plastic milk bottle. We're going to be making one of these out of those materials. I'm going to go through the materials list now. So, two litre bottle. You could probably make a three litre bottle work as well. Sellotape. I've got two kinds here. You only need one. You can see this one has kind of a yellow tint to it and this one's perfectly clear. If you have this one, use this one. It's better. A Sharpie or a marker that works on plastic. A pencil. My favourite LED fairy lights. I've been using them in all these projects. So they don't get hot. They're very safe. Don't use anything else like Handle, don't use anything that's hot. Okay, uh, these straws are for the mast. I think I have about six of them there, which is probably too many. I have a scissors, uh, the ruler, and just standard uh, photocopy paper or computer paper. So we're going to start off by making the hull of the boat. I'm going to draw around here to get this line. I'm going to use my ruler to help me. I'm going to draw it under where the spout goes. I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to get my scissors. Sometimes you'll see lines on the uh, carton that will help guide you. I got the line there on the back of the carton that was helpful. Yeah. There we go, the hull of the boat. Now it's still a bit wet because we washed it earlier. Okay. Now. now the next thing is to make the cabin which is what we use to put the battery pack in. So you can see this line here, this natural line that's on the carton. I'm going to cut around this. Now some of the cartons have labels that just fall off. They're just plastic wrapped around and they'll come right off. And then other cartons have labels you have to scrub off. So go for the other ones if they're, if, if they're uh, an option. So I'm, I'm going to cut it now that it's the right, as you can see, it kind of looks okay, but it's a bit big for what I want. So I'm going to cut it so it's the same height as the, as the hull. You can, you can change that. You could definitely leave it big like this if you wanted to, you know. But I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to give myself a marker. The best 
way of doing this, I think, is this. I've got these lines on the carton that are being very helpful for me. Okay. It is fairly easy to put this plastic, but you might need a hand. So if you just someone that's good with the scissors they can help you. So this is going to go in like this. So that's our hull and the cabin. We're going to have a bit of tape later that will hold all that together for us. So we're going to put that aside and we're going to get working on the sails. So to do the upright we have three parts. I'm going to see these have these bendy things. So we don't need them for this project. So I'm going to cut those off. And then I'm going to slit up the middle of the straw which allows me to kind of twist it and bend it and it feeds into the other straw so it makes one giant straw and do the same with this one you can do this without slitting them I just find it a bit easier to do it that way but whatever it works for you okay so there's my upright now I'm going to do the kind of the cross bar it's like making a big cross there's just straws. Yeah. So we're going to arrange it kind of like this. We get our tape. Now, for doing this, this is me being a little bit fussy. I like to split the tape up the middle. It just makes it a bit neater for tape. So you can see here now, guys, we're going to tape it across. And when you tape it, you want it that kind of sit straight, don't you? Yes, that's piece of tape going one direction and we'll have it going the other direction now it's a bit tricky getting it so that it's just the angle you want yeah. that's pretty good now so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the sails which is just using this paper but you could use if you wanted to plastic if you wanted to recycle some more plastic it would make it a little bit more durable but this was handier for me so I'm going to draw a line from the top of that straw down to here Now I'm going to put another piece of paper under it and I get to do my two sails in one go then. One for either side. piece of tape. Now what I often do, and it's a good tip, when you finish using the tape, just fold it over and then it's easier to pick it up again. Or else you can spend ages searching sometimes to find the end of the tape. I don't know if anyone else has found that. Now, so I'm first off, I'm sticking it onto the straw and I'm lining up my piece of paper so that the corner of the piece of paper goes right into the corner of my cross. Here we go. 
Yeah. I'm going to have another piece going this way. One side, now we'll do the other side exactly the same. We'll stick it onto the straw first and then have like half the tape hanging over, and then you can line it up with your piece of paper and stick it down. Okay, there we go. Cut away that excess. Now, so the next thing is this will go here, but I want to get it at the right height. I have a bit too much straw. Let's see. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to tape this now onto the, um, the cabin I'm calling it. It's where we're going to hold our um, battery pack and all of those things and make sure it's dry if the tape won't stick. Okay, another couple of pieces of tape. I'm lining it up so it's the right way. And a good long piece of tape to wrap right around. Now, yeah. we'll do one more. Yeah. Okay. Now the next thing we'll get the lights and put them in here in the back of the boat. And we'll put the battery pack at the front. Get them all tucked away there. This means that we can switch the lights on and off and we can change the batteries without having to take it apart again. Okay. Just going to get another couple of bits of tape. And this is the reason where you that I like the clear tape, is that it won't show when we do this when we wrap it around. And that will hold that down fairly well. And now there we go guys. So we're gonna come back in the dark and see what it looks like with the lights on. Okay, speak to you in a second. Hello everybody. It's evening time here now and I've got the battery packs into these two uh, lantern boats I've made. This one is an LED remote controlled fairy lights that are actually meant for pools and they're completely waterproof. They're really nice and they change colour. Super fancy. And these are the standard uh, fairy lights, you can get them nearly everywhere. There's a little battery pack and you can put it there so we can switch them on and off or change the batteries. So the, the boats are, I think they're fairly easy to make and they could look really nice outside and um, particularly if they were near a pond or something and you could see the reflections in the water. I think that would be really nice but you can't put them actually in the water because they're not really designed for that. That would take a bit more redesigning to figure that bit out. But um, it would definitely look nice outside. Um, if you made the sails out of plastic, and if you use this battery pack here, um, the LED remote control pool lights, that's, if you had um, plastic sails, that would work really well. But we're gonna try these now with the lights off. Now, nice. They look, they look totally different, don't they? So, I think you could have great fun with these. And it's just using milk cartons. So, 
We go through loads of those every week in our house. So it's a great way of using them up and you know, making art out of them. And I hope you have fun with all the other um, lanterns we made over the last few weeks. This workshop marks the end now for me doing the lantern workshops during the COVID-19 lockdown, which is everything's beginning to open up again. But uh, I've really enjoyed it and I hope you've got something out of it as well. And you'll get to make lanterns and brighten up your evenings, particularly as we come into the winter. Take care everybody. Thanks so much.